Hello, my name's John and welcome to this, the 19th A Coat of Armies painting tutorial for Warlord Games Epic Scale Napoleonics. Uh, today, as you can see, I'll be looking at the uh, French Line Infantry and this is uh, part one because of course um, there's also the trench coat version to go. So here we go with the uh, French Line Infantry. I've got some absolutely hideous rattle can primer blues going on here, which has uh, irritated me no end, but it is what it is, onwards and upwards. So uh, we've done the uh, black primer and the white scar dry brush to bring up the details so you can actually see what the heck you're doing. I've put the flesh on first, so I've gone with uh, King's Workshop's Cadian Flesh Tone, and same as with, with the British. There are the occasional hands at the back. So for the jackets I've gone with uh, Games Workshop's McCrag Blue. I'm not 100% sure about this option yet. I may yet change that. Maybe to a dark Prussian blue. But I don't know. I'll run with it. See how it comes out. Then with the uh, Games Workshop's Gore Grunt Affair for the uh, muskets. And the backpacks. It dries up quite nicely to look like a bad leather or hide. So here I'm starting on the uh, shakos, starting with the shako covers. And I've gone with uh, London Grey and Games Workshop's Morgast Bone. And on the back I've done some of the uh, great coat slash blanket rolls as well. So at this point I've done uh, Games Workshop's Avedon Black on the Bayonets shakos. Uh, any metal on the muskets, apart from the barrel, I'll just do that straight silver. Uh, and their shoes. Same again on the back. Uh, blue pouches, of course. And also I've done uh, Vallejo's London Grey on the uh, spats or gaiters, call them what you will. Here I've used uh, Games Workshop's Korak White to do a bit of prep work. Prep work. So, uh can safely say the uh, rattle can primer blues are really beginning to get on my nerves now. So now I've done all the uh, barrels and bayonets in uh, Games Workshop's lead belcher. And of course, same on the back. Games Workshop's Evil Sun Scarlet for the uh, plumes, cuffs and collars. And there's just a couple of bits around the back. A couple of cuffs that have uh, snuck, snuck out. I've gone with Games Workshop's Mournfang Brown for the uh, bayonet scabbards. And uh, the Grenadiers have done theirs as black. And I've taken the opportunity just to get some of the hair done as well. And to cover up any minor blips. Now here's a phrase you won't use me, hear me use very often. Um, I have very carefully applied some Agrax Earth Shade to the... Uh, Blue bits of the jacket, the shakos, collars, spats, gaiters, whatever, and the backpacks here. Games Workshop's Castellan Green for the water bottles. They are quite hard to spot on a lot of these. Here I've used uh, Games Workshop's Dark Angel Contrast Green for the uh, pom-poms on the first company here. Here I've used uh, Games Workshop's Apothecary White. It's kind of like a, an odd little wash, but it's good for uh, white figures like these. It just sort of fills in, a, gives you a bit of extra depth, a bit of shadows behind the belts and what have you, but only paint it on the white bits. So at this point I've used uh, Vallejo's Brass for the um, shako plates and the ends of the scabbards and the buttons on their uh, sleeves there. And of course, same on the back for the scabbards. So back in again with Vallejo's Off-White just to do the uh, backpack straps. I've done a couple of other little fiddly bits here and there as well. Um, if I can just remember what the heck I've done. Uh, uh, yeah, done the uh, white wrapping on the visible bits of the scabbards. Um, which really isn't very much. You do have to look quite hard to find it. And uh, of course the uh, tricolor on the uh, front of the shakos there. Though of course that all depends on which level of mental you're going for. It's just the uh, turnbacks on the back of the jackets there to do, and I think we can call these boys done. <laughs> 